All right, I want to make another quick video here, uh, just kind of talking and kind of get some ideas from you guys. Um, I'm working on trying to make a perfect, not perfect, but as close to perfect as it can be, um, do everything portable toolbox. I'm not even sure that this is the platform I want to go with. Um, I do have the mobile uh, rigid boxes, so I don't want to use the whole system. I want it to be able to to fit and just be carried easily in the hand. So possibly using this box. I also have the uh, Milwaukee pack out system. So I do have, and it's, it's just funny because I don't ever use these slim boxes. So I have this available to me and I have that rigid box. Right now I'm using this Craftsman, Craftsman toolbox. I just threw this together over the weekend. Um, and it's kind of just tools that I have laying around that I don't mind being stuck in this, but if I go to my mom's and she wants me to help her with something. I'll have probably everything I need in there. Um, go to the girlfriend, same situation. She wants me to help her with something. I want to have 99% of the things I need to do for small tasks like uh, hanging pictures and fixing leaky faucets and toilets and shower heads and just simple stuff. Um, so this is kind of what I'm working with and I want to see what you guys have for ideas. Um, I just have my old Porter Cable drill um, this is my first drill. My dad bought me this big complete set. So I have that and then this bottom drawer I have two batteries and the uh, charger for it, which is nice. This is actually a very small charger and I do like that about this. Um, I just wish that the drill was a little more compact, but I just have these tucked in uh, Allen heads. A lot of furniture uses Allen's, so it's good to have those. Um, SAE and metric. Um, this is kind of like the junk drawer if you will a small level hang pictures um a little pry bar just to be able to pry stuff um stubby flathead just because i had it and i don't use it so it was good to throw in there in case you do need a stubby and then a thermostat screwdriver just some cheap one that you know companies get made with their stuff on it so it's got small phillips and then the standard thermostat flathead um so that's it for the bottom drawer um let's go back up to the top where i was started here Got a couple nut drivers, um, quarter inch 516ths, just cheap DeWalt ones. I've got this uh, T25 because I do enjoy using those types of fasteners. Um, they just grip a lot better than Phillips. So I use those, um, just, you know, an old pen from a, uh, just one of those cheap office pens you get. Um, just regular number two pencil and then an Amazon Sharpie. Like I said, this doesn't need to be my best tools and it's definitely not my best tools um, as you can see with my walmart drill bit set but it's got what i need in there and i can use it and you see you snap them and it doesn't make you cry so i've got what i need to hang stuff up or um you know put in drywall anchors and you'll see i got this little kit i built here so um quarter inch uh drill bits needed 5 16 drill bits needed and they just have those anchors and then i just got Small nails, people like to hang stuff. <laughs> that nail screwed up. Um, people like to use nails to hang up pictures. Um, I've got small panel nails to use if we don't want to try to make a big hole. Regular just drywall screws, kind of shorter and longer ones. But this is a good good set to have for that. Um, I'm trying to make this video short, so I'm kind of rushing. Just a cheap old Stanley tape measure I had. I don't miss it, don't mind it being in here. Um, a cheap knife I bought at a like a sidewalk sale flea, flea market when I was really young, probably over 10 years ago. Um, but I, I actually just used it this weekend and it, it, it's got a good blade on it and it will help me when I need it. If I don't have my pocket knife for whatever reason, I don't know if that's ever going to happen. Um, long reach Phillips. I do, I do know that I need a shorter Phillips bit because I came across a situation where I wanted a shorter Phillips bit over the weekend and I didn't have it. So that will be something I'm adding. Um, I do have this Milwaukee ratcheting screwdriver. This is kind of my multi-driver for the kit. I feel like this isn't focusing very well. Um, but it has all of these various slotted uh, squares and then different size Phillips. And this is nice. It does have the ratcheting feature. This thing's heavy. I don't love this screwdriver, and it's why it's delegated to, the, to this box. But um, it does ratchet either direction. And then I can use these if I'm careful because I don't think they're impact rated. But I can use these in the drill if I get in a bind. So um, that works for that. I always like having two big screwdrivers, uh, demolition screwdrivers. These are Harbor Freight Doyle brand. Um, they were cheap. 
you know, seven bucks for the set. Um, can't go wrong with that, especially the flathead. He works as a chisel, whatever is needed. Um, you can see I got a little bits or parts magnet holder dish. This is just a cheap one, Harbor Freight, I'm sure. Might be Craftsman because it's red. I'm not sure. It's really old. Um, tucked in slip joint pliers. This is kind of like the first grab kit. So if you, if you can just get in the top, that might be all you need. Um, so these tighten stuff up, whatever. Um, first drawer, this is kind of the electrical drawer. Strippers that I found in a ceiling tile in a place I was working. Um, they work, they strip wires. If I need to grab something, they can kind of act as grabbers too. Um, a while ago I bought the Tecton uh, pliers set. So I've got these um they actually came with these uh teeth pretty screwed up and so i sent in got a warrantied pair but i kept the screwed up pair because they didn't ask for them back and i just threw them in here because that'll still twist plenty of wires it's not a big deal but this, that gap is pretty bad um so side cutters these are great just used them over the weekend they did well for me um same with the needle nose used them also over the weekend they worked great for me then um just regular I forget what these things are called. Wagos, but they're not Wagos, I don't think. Um, just to fasten wires, regular wire nuts if needed. Um, box cutter for stripping larger gauge wire for whatever reason. Scotch 33 tape um, and Gorilla tape. It's kind of the electric drawer. And then the last drawer I got is more of plumbing. Um, I picked this up over the weekend because I needed a hammer and I realized I didn't have one in there. Um, this is just a cheap 10 ounce. This was like $4 from Home Depot. Um, but it worked. It drilled in or nailed in nails for me. That's all I needed. Also grabbed these while I was in Home Depot. I wanted to try them. I'm a huge fan of Nipex and I wanted to see just how bad these were in comparison. And they're not bad. I don't, they look ugly. <laughs> I hate to say that, but they look ugly, and I, that kind of deters me from wanting to use them. But that's a handy pair to have. Um, I got a Doyle set for, for standard uh, tongue and groove. And then I got another Tecton. This was in that plier set, so those are parallel jaw. Um, got that. Tecton crescent wrench. Adjustable wrench. Um, good hammer, <laughs> if nothing else. Good nut rounder, definitely, as everyone knows. I'm so, this is focusing on this really bad. Um, and then the tool, if you don't have the right tool, vice grips. Um, these Milwaukee, uh, I said that weird, torque lock ones, you can put a screwdriver in there and really just crank on something if you want it to get tight. And these have been good. I bought a huge, a bunch of these when I ripped out the carpet in my house and it was nice to have um, to pull on the carpet. So I have a whole bunch of them and they don't look like they've been used a lot because they haven't. So I just threw them put in here. And then just a set of Teflon tape for doing shower heads, faucets, whatever. All right, so that's what I got going so far. I want some feedback. So please leave a comment. Tell me what else I could add to this. Tell me what you use for your kits. Tell me if I should use those slim boxes. If you see a reason that'd be better to use those versus what I'm doing now. I like the idea of the drawers. Um, I looked at the Craftsman versus stack. That might be a possibility. The drawers for the Milwaukee set are just too big and too expensive. I don't want to spend $150 on this, but that's my kit. Let me know what you guys think. Um, leave a comment or a response video or something. Uh, thanks for checking it out. Um, see you guys in the next video.